Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and today I've got a Google Drawings lesson where we're going to make our own greeting cards that you can electronically send to whoever you care about. The video that Hallmark never wants you to see. So my friends, let's get cracking! The first step is to find your Google app bar, and then we need to go to Google Drive to make this project come to life. When you click New, we need to scroll down and find the More button, and under More, we're going to use the awesome and free Google Drawings tool. Let's start by naming our file. Simply click the box, and I'm going to put card, and I'm going to just put my initials because I don't know who I'm going to give it to yet. I want to make mine kind of large, so I am going to go to File Page Setup, which is down near the bottom of this tab, and I want to set it as a custom size, and I want to do 8.5 wide, and I want to do 11 long and tell it apply. So now I've got a large area to play with. My first step is going to be to paint the background. You can simply do that by doing right click and then choosing one of these colors. I prefer the light ones or you could try one of the cool light gradients. If you have a light background, it's easier to build the rest of your cart and make your other colors really pop. Because of the time of the year, I am going to make a Mother's Day card, and I'm going to start with Word Art. When you click Word Art, it gives you a box, and as you can see, you press Enter to finish, and you do Shift Enter to do multiple lines. I'm going to type Happy, and then I'm going to do that Shift Enter, and then do Mothers, and then Shift Enter, and then I'm going to put Day. Exclamation point, and then press Enter to finish it. Notice my words are kind of small. I can simply stretch them to whatever size I want. They're also kind of lame, but I can fix that by simply clicking the font choice and scrolling down and finding an amazing one. If you don't see something you like, you can click the more fonts and you could search for a special name if you knew one, or you can just go through and look at all the amazing fonts that you can choose to make yours turn out totally awesome. I'm going to go with Pacifico and click OK. Notice it was not there. That check mark means it will be from now on. There is my beautiful font. Let's take that shape and find the amazing colors. Once again, you could do a solid color or you can click that and do the cool gradients to give it some really cool style. Um, once you've got them in, you can also then go to the line color and see what kind of crazy things you can do to make it really, really happening. It is easy to stretch it to a custom shape. You can make it as far as you want. I'm not liking the way those are looping over each other, so I'm going to pick a different. I'm going to try the Indie Flower. I like that a little bit better. I'm going to pick a different color as well. I'm going to go back to Solid. And uh, let's see what happens if I drop in something like this. I'm still not happy. I'm going to try one more. I'm going to do a big word like that and then I still think my colors need to be a lot better what happens if I do there we go now that's something I'm a little more impressed with the beauty of it is you can quickly adjust and make it however you want for your design the next thing we're going to do is add a picture I am going to search the web for a picture it gives us this nice little box and I am going to add a heart to my card once again, if you don't want to make a Mother's Day card, you could be making a teacher's appreciation card, hint, hint, or you could make a birthday card for somebody that's coming up. When you find the heart that you like, simply click it and choose insert down at the bottom. Wait for it to arrive. If it works fine, you can move it and adjust it and put it where you want. If you want it behind your words, you can simply hit arrange order and you can send all the way to the back or you can just send backwards as you make your design totally awesome. We should add some words to our cards so we can tell the person we're giving it to how much we care about them. You should do that with a text box. When you click the text box, it gives you a place that you can type your phrase. You can come up with whatever phrase you want, then you can adjust the box so it fits. Once again, you get to pick the font you wanna use. I'm gonna stay with Arial, but I wanna make it bold and I wanna make it larger so that it shows up. You can take those words and make them so that they're centered. And just like before, you can change the color as well. When you click away, you can see that it starts to show 
a cool design where it's all coming together. You can still arrange and move things. You can move things around as you make your card as cool as you want. I'm gonna sign my card quick with a piece of word art. I'm gonna simply type love Mike. And then when I press enter and finish it, I can pick a cool font that actually looks a bit like a signature. Shrink it down, change it so it looks just the way I want. Pick my cool colors. Uh, this time I'm gonna put green on the outside. If I double click it, I can go back in the box and check this out. If I do a comma, I can still do shift enter to put it on the second line and see how that looks as well. Press enter to finish it. I like that. Move my phrase for mom over to the other side of the page a little bit. Notice you do have to get to the edge to move it. And then I can move the love mic where I want as well. Let's insert a piece of clip art just because I want you to see all the tools available to you. I would do that by hitting insert and then going to the shape options. There are many, many cool ones to pick, smiles, hearts, so on and so forth. I know I'm aiming for the one that looks like a star because I mentioned how my mom is the star that guides me daily. When you bring in clip art instead of these pictures, they are kind of cool because you can color them the way you want giving them the cool outlines and everything that you think you need to make yours look as awesome as it can. If you had a video on YouTube or something that you wanted to attach, you could create a link so that they could click on it and play it as well. I do not have one of those, but it's just something you could do. All right, let's add the crown jewel to our cool card. Start a brand new tab and make sure you visit Google. And I'm gonna add another heart, but I want a heart that is a GIF file. Or GIF file, depending on how you pronounce it. Make sure you use the images that are in the Google. Search box, break that apart so that you can see them both. Notice I'm just pulling it so I can get a look at both. Click on the GIF image to see if it is really cool and animated. If you like it, simply grab it and drop it on your project. Some of them work, some of them don't. Just wait a second to see if it does what you want. If you like it, scale it, put it the right size, and pat yourself on the back for making something awesome. If you don't like it, hit delete and repeat the process again until you find one that you think is amazing. I'm gonna stay with that one. When you are all done, you can simply hit the share button and then get a shareable link that you can email to the person you care about. Copy that link, hit done, and send it on its way. If you're in my classroom, I need you to turn in a screenshot of this right now. Friends, I hope you had an awesome time with this lesson, learned some cool skills, and found a way to celebrate all the cool people that are in your life. If you did find it useful, please mash that like button. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.